This is a puzzle of the landmarks of the world, guys. On the left there, you got the, in some part of the puzzle, you also got some safari animals, including the... Yeah, there's this blank space of the puzzles missing. A big part of that is the sea. It's as if I were to create a new recipe at McDonald's, calling it the Supreme Chicken McNuggets. Well, as soon as I get out of the neighborhood, Yo, Hello and good night. Well, it is just past midnight by one minute. It's 12.01 a.m. It's a new day and a new month. It's May 1st. And right now what I'm up to is I'm playing chess on the MSN games. Actually, it's called Master Chess, but let's play anyway. So I'm going to go for a time limit here. I'm going to go for up to 10 minutes and versus the artificial intelligence. So great, I play as the white. All right, so I have 10 minutes to checkmate my opponent here. All right, let's see what I can move from here. Am I ready to move my queen yet? Well, yes, I'll give it a move. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Well, I have an idea. Well, you know what? Just take it. Just take the pawn. Oh, dear me. It's in check. Well, payback, biscuit. Now, more than two minutes in, and you see the winning probabilities here. And as for me, it is 59.6% as I move my bishop alongside. Oh, man, this might be a little risky, so I'm actually going to pull it back. Okay, it just dropped to 58.9%. I had my pawn stolen, but you know, that's when karma hits, boss. All right, I'm gonna give my queen a little moment here. At least it won't be risky at all. Aha, it's in check now. Okay, I can check it again. And there's no way that anyone can take it from here. And oh, that might be a little risky if I do it like that. So I'm just gonna move it back. And I'm gonna try and feed it to some stronger character here. Maybe the horse could do it. Oh, great, that turned out to be at the slightest at risk and put him in check again. Look at this. I only have one pawn left and I have 68.3% chance of winning this. Now it's getting close to half time here, so I need to have a clue of where to place this knight. I don't want to place it here. In fact, I might actually just go and move something else. And oh, great! At least I can still move this castle. Oh, great! I can put him in check. There, he's in check. And let's see what I can do to him next. Could I do anything with my? Oh, not with the bishop though. That will be a little risky. All right, can I still do something with the horse? Could I still do anything with either one of my castles? Would that be worth it? Well, at least no one can steal my powers just yet. And still no one can steal my powers just yet. Oh, I have an idea. At least I could try and rob that castle over here. And yeah, thanks. Oh, you know what? I got it. I got it. There. Finally. All right. So that took within two minutes and 32 seconds remaining. All right. So I played a little game of chess. That was fun. But now it is already well past midnight, 1216. And wow, it is breezing like a windmill outside. All right. It's 1.22 p.m. and it is breezy and gray, like it is solid gray outside today. It is chilly and breezy. And we got this dog over here. Hey, what up, dog? Oh yeah, that's a nice dog surprise, although I don't like dogs at all. This turned out to be a really cool surprise. What up, dog? Well, now he's running away. Okay, so he's actually the owner of the house that is on the left side of my aunts. And in case if you don't know, both of my aunts do have a cat in the house. Coming into the house, I was absolutely surprised to see what was on the floor. Check this out. 
Look at that. We got a puzzle. Look at this. This is a puzzle of the landmarks of the world, you guys. On the left there, you got the Golden Gate Bridge. On the right, you got the Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, and you go all the way there, that's Europe. You see the London Tower, the Eiffel Tower, and all the way there, you see Burj Khalifa. And some part of the puzzle, you also got some safari animals, including the pandas and the coyotes, which you wouldn't usually see in the Far East, but over here, that's where Africa is. And all the way at the right there, Oceana. And down there, the igloo and the penguins, that's Antarctica. And I mean, having had a look at this, I was quite surprised to see the snake. I mean, there's snakes in various highly forested areas. All right, now the cat goes into the kitchen. I don't want anything, well, not me, but my aunt doesn't want him to do anything to this puzzle. We worked so hard on this. We got that cat here again. Well, you better not do anything to that puzzle. As long as you don't do anything to that puzzle, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and that zebra carpet there. You can see the wax stretching. That's funny for a carpet, honestly. And we do have this mini rug here. I think that must be a deer, you can tell from its color and from its material. I gotta be honest with you guys, that is a sophisticating and entertaining puzzle. You got a number of landmarks all over the world. And yeah, there's this blank space of the puzzles missing. A big part of that is the sea and the small islands, you know, like Fiji, the Cayman Islands, the Faroe Islands, and etc. Goodness, like, it could take five or six hours to complete this puzzle. Uh, I have just calculated the width by length, and so it's 80 by 50, so it's 4,000 pieces, believe it or not. It's like filling up a bucket with small stones. It's as if I were to create a new recipe at McDonald's, calling it the Supreme Chicken McNuggets. You know how a normal box at McDonald's would contain 20 chicken nuggets, but if I was to make the Supreme Chicken McNuggets that contains 120 chicken nuggets, then it would take as much pressure as to make that whole puzzle. And from there, we have made it to my grandma's house and now back in the neighborhood. And look at this. Just the way that this parking lot looks right now, I don't even believe it. I mean, at least there's an open space right here. Other than that, it's just chaos. Holy Zeus, it is just so chaos. One other thing that's chaos, well, as soon as I get out of the neighborhood, you will see it. This is what's been going on. This is flipping chaos. And yeah, up that slope here at the end of yesterday, I mentioned the traffic jam there too. Like that was when I'm going up, but now it's that jam, it's that craziness going down that hill. Look at that. I mean, even this dude in the delivery motorbike, he decided to pass. Well, you're in a car's race, I know. But man, this is just chaotic up here. Going down that hill, it's just chaos. All right, I'm upstairs in the biking room right now, and well, I need some light. Yeah. Find a place to. Oh, there it is. Hopefully, this will work. Huh. Right. There we go. Oh my god. This is epic. Just look at this. Man, it just looks so cool. I turned this biking room into a discotheque. That's what it feels like. Well, you know what? If I turn that left light off, that 
could even give better vibes. Oh yeah. Now it is so much better. Looks like I'm gonna be following the workout while doing a disco at the same time. This is amazing. Enjoying the vibes. Well, you can see that a big part of curtains are closed. Well, this is when they prepare for a group workouts in this biking room. Oh man, I'm already enjoying it like crazy. Oh, I should put this up to, oh. Yes, I should quick start this and I should put this up to level 35 to 40. That's how it is. As long as I can keep it at an RPM of at least 80. Here in the bridge, there's a huge congested traffic jam right now. That's what's been going on all day. I mean, I've already been in that crazy traffic heading down that slope. It's like the eye of the big brother, but if I were to put that into a figure, I could call that the eye of the alien. Kind of satisfying. Anyway, so it's 6.33. That was an epic run, a 48 minutes workout. Haven't ended it with a bike disco. Call that a bike disco. Ah. Oh, believe it or not, these iced tea cans have been out of stock in literally every grocery store, including car for Migros. Like they hadn't sold these icy cans anywhere for over a week. Anyway, guys, now it's time to wrap it up for what has been a crazy chaos, but also an amusing day. I had a word from the workers regarding the renovation about my loft and they have finished painting the side walls. Now they have started painting the ceiling. Early in the day, we'll fetch the Peugeot. We'll drive around, cross the bridge. So that will do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it fun at the least. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.